Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to start live streaming on YouTube. So let's get started. Before setting up a stream, your account needs to be verified. This doesn't mean having a check mark next to your name. It's just YouTube ensuring you're a real person. All you need is your phone number. You'll receive a code via text and once verified, you'll gain access to features like uploading custom thumbnails, longer videos, and of course, live streaming. Once your account is verified, head to the YouTube homepage. Click on the Create button at the top right, then select Go Live. Alternatively, you can access this from YouTube Studio by clicking Go Live. Instead of streaming directly from your webcam, we'll use streaming software for more customization. Choose streaming software as your option. In the Setup screen, click Edit. Here, you can set your stream title, add a description, select visibility, and choose your category, like gaming. You can also add the game title and upload a custom thumbnail. For the best results, use a resolution of 1280x720 pixels or 1920x1080 pixels. Next, go to the Customization tab. Here, you can enable live chat, control who can comment, set a subscriber-only chat delay, and enable slow mode if needed. Once you've configured everything, click Save. Under Stream Settings, you'll find your Stream Key. This key allows your streaming software to connect to your YouTube stream. Keep it private. Anyone with this key can stream on your channel. Copy the key, then open your streaming software. In OBS, go to Settings Stream. Select YouTube as your service and paste your stream key into the appropriate field. Click Apply, then OK. Back in the Live Dashboard, you'll see Stream Latency Settings. For the most real-time interaction with your viewers, select Ultra Low Latency. You can manually set one on the right side if you want a delay. Another useful feature is Unlist Live Replay. If enabled, your stream won't automatically be public after ending. It will remain unlisted and you can later decide whether to keep it public or add it to a playlist. When you're ready, start streaming from your software, then return to your YouTube Live Dashboard and click Go live. During your stream, you can use features like highlight videos to clip key moments or stream markers to bookmark sections of your stream for easy editing later. You can also share your stream link across platforms directly from the dashboard. In the chat panel, you can pop out the chat window, pin messages, moderate comments, and even create polls to engage your audience. When finished, click End Stream in YouTube Studio and your streaming software. After ending your stream, go to YouTube Studio Content, Live tab to find your past streams. That's it. Thanks for watching.